You may be wondering what this strange glowing flying saucer thing is uh, lying on the uh, table of my mill. Well, my eyes are getting old and I, I need more light. And Well, let me tell you, that's more light. So, I turned this lampshade. Obviously, this is not done yet. So, this is a 100 millimeter ring LED, commonly referred to as angel eyes. They're made for cars, specifically, and come with a 12 volt regulator on them. Well, I didn't think it was bright enough and I didn't want to have a separate 12 volt power supply anyway. So I got one of these little dudes. This LED driver which is a 450 milliamp constant current LED driver that plugs directly into the wall. So I get a direct conversion here from from 115 to 450 milliamps through this thing here. Well, obviously, it's not done yet. I've got to put this in a box and put a switch on it. And anyway, but I was kind of excited and thought I'd put something up for people to look at. So here's the idea. Let's see here. This, uh, yeah, she just slides up there. The magnets hold it in place around the quill. And, uh, well, I have lots of light now. So, maybe this gave you some ideas an idea anyway that uh, at some point I suppose I'll I'll follow up on this once things are boxed up and and properly organized but uh, uh, anyway it's I think it turned out pretty well uh, <laughs> it's bright and shoot if I want it even brighter what I have here is a 900 milliamp brick. Does the same thing as the 450 milliamp one. And, uh, well, it would work. I don't know how long the LED would last, but I've run it at 450 for hours on end and it just barely gets warm. So I think I'm going to be okay. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll uh, put something else up uh, fairly soon on the, how the lathe's going and the electronic lead screw. So, again, thanks for watching. Catch you later.